I'm gonna play some champion wheels. Don't quite understand how to play. squares now. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I'm understanding, I'm understanding. Wait, it's going through? Archers have piercing? Oh no. understand you. I win? You do. Piercing, I don't need that. stronger
going to keep erecting bases. Now we're getting blown the fuck up now. Got him. I don't even know how to play the game. That's no fair. He was already dead. He shouldn't get to attack if I already win. Whoa, a tie. All right. Dr. Battle Reed Flare. Your heroes match energy to make up your hero's attack and bring the enemy crown to zero. Rod must be lowered by matching the associated energy. Square energy is for the left hero, diamond is for the right hero. The trio plus fashion. 3 equals 1, 4 equals 2, 5 equals 3, 6 equals 4. Alright, so I need. Okay. Crown can be raised to resist up to 5 points of damage and is raised by matching hammers. Plus one, no three of rule, and gain two XP whenever they act. One gold. Oh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So that's how many units. I don't know if I have three units. And the crown with the bulwark is at two or less in there. Oh. 
Okay, I got you. I got you. So that's what those are. I think. I'm understanding this game. Well, that's two energy pips. Okay, I'm understanding this game. Does that count as a two? It does count as a two. Here comes the hurt. Ah, oh, man. Oh, we're the golden god. Boom. I'm good with this. Oh, it wasn't enough. more. Yes, that should be good. But the height of three units. I'm dead. Okay, so I don't quite understand wheels. Like, I understand it, but I'm just bad at it.
Yes, perfect. Two heels is crazy. It's a golden gobble goo. Nice. Can we be closer to the bomb? Attacks, I win. Yes, got him. What a silly fun game. I like it. Hey, you won. Congratulations. Here's your prize. Alright. We did it. Who's the best? I'm the best. Now we can go to the Arcane Wizard Ball. Keep going for keep going for the goat boat. <laughs> I can just lavish straight to the right here. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing at the lavish lake. Oh, got more crawl daddies. I can do a shit ton of fishing, maybe like a few. See if I can pull out one of those binging boys back here. Got you, you little green son of a bitch. Grass head. Crap ton of fish.
but just enough fish to be comfortable. I need some comfort fillet. I have found the door, but it seems that I only be able to lift it a few inches. Val trade? On your mark, pal. Commence! Yolan, hurry! No sweat, big guy. Demolition is my middle name. Kaboom. Kaboom is her middle name. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get, you old ruin. That's one way to do it. A job well done, mateys. Better let the captain know our part of the mission was a success. Valerie's crew might need a few pointers in there, so I will remain with them for now. Sure, it can't hurt to have a mage around. Oh, I will prove to be a valuable companion, or my name is not Keenathan. Have it your way, then. Coming, Valtrey? Aye, good luck in there. Alright, there's a lot of dungeony dungeon stuff in here. Like, I believe this was is supposed to be our first major dungeon. My, what an improbable place. And look at this device, I wonder what it does. This is a lot to take in. Why don't you explore a bit? Is there anything else in here? rest, we're going to set up camp, we're going to read the story, we're going to talk to Keenathan to get this done underway, and yeah. <coughs> the Great Summoning. <coughs> <coughs> what few people know today is that Kunis Nuku has already been banished by the time the Great Summoning happened. The channeling had begun months prior, back when the Lizardfolk still had the upper hand. It was toward the end of the decades-long battle, after it was clear that the Molkin mages would be the victors. On this night of nights, the air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly, the very sky tore open, and a giant sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day, historians argue about the origins of the sky serpent. Some say it was a monster of pure evil, stolen from another plane of existence and forced to remain here. Others believe that it came from above the clouds, a once friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by dark magic. <clears throat> but regardless of its origins, the Sky Serpent was set to change the world forever. Back in the time of the Ovates, the ritual of the elements could have been performed to control the Sky Serpent's mind. <clears throat> but alas, the Ovates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at hand, the Molkin elementalists devised a plan to contain the threat. By carving intricate wind tunnels straight into the Extol's mountain, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Blowing through the mountain, the wind started to play, to play a melody so pure it forced the Sky Serpent into slumber. The magic was so strong that it was believed that the wind would remain safe for generations, or rather, for as long as the mountain played the melody true. For the greater good, the Molkin gave up their study of magic and established an outpost atop the mountain. Over generations, they became expert miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Molkin have toiled around the clock ever since, protecting the world one pickaxe strike at a time. Despite centuries of stability, stories say that the magic enchantment of the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the old baits will return before then. The end. <clears throat> boop, boop, boop. The old baits indeed.
Thanks, I like from the different crystals on the Japan. It's quite fascinating. Alright. 